Hi guys, I'm Murphy's mom, and this is Murphy. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. If you're new here, I do around the house videos. I have clutter, so I'm always decluttering. I do cleaning videos, recipes, reviews, the occasional DIY craft project because sometimes I need to get things done around the house. I'm not great at them, but I'll get them done and so much more. Today, I have a food haul for you. I haven't done a food haul in ages, and that's because everyone's been staying home and I haven't been able to film one of these in my kitchen for a long time. Yeah, I know I've been sharing my Thrive hauls, but those are so much smaller than this and it's easy to film. This is a real food haul. And the reason I'm sharing it this week is because last week I shared with you my meal planning method. It's a method I'd started about six months ago and it's really working for me. And I figured I'd share with you what I bought for two weeks. So it's two weeks worth of shopping for three adults and I spent way, way too much money. I'll put the total up here. It was around $500. I went to Whole Foods and Stop and Shop. And let me say also we're gluten free. My husband and daughter do not do well with gluten. So I keep the house gluten free so nobody gets sick. And that's a little bit more expensive. And I also try to buy organic and non-GMO whenever possible because I'm trying to get the best quality food. I know I don't look like I'm trying to be healthy, but I am. Anyway, I have two weeks worth of food here and it's a lot of food. Some of it is pantry items that I had to restock and a lot of it was meat and fresh vegetables. I don't buy much in the way of fruit. That's how we are. We're not much fruit eaters, we'll eat vegetables. So I figured I'd share with you what I have. So here it is. I don't know about you, but I don't have those families that go into the store and spend nothing on food and come out with piles and piles of food. I spent a lot of money on this. Now I know we had a lot of junk food in here and partially because we shopped in two different stores and we got junk food in both of them. I think we got too much. I know we got too much, but sometimes it is what it is. What can I say? The first thing that we bought was the Applegate sliced ham. It's great for sandwiches. Keep it in the refrigerator for when I don't have leftovers for lunch. Organic mozzarella and the Organic Valley cream cheese. Staples in our house use them for various dishes. Always have them on hand. <laughs> this plant was an impulse buy. Somehow it made it in my cart. Yes, it was on sale, so why not, I guess. Now we have Organic Valley grass-fed milk. We like it. It has a good shelf life. It'll make it through the two weeks. Kerrygold butter. I don't know about you, but I love this butter. If you haven't tried it, try it. It is so good. You can taste the difference. We also have Organic Valley sour cream and Organic Valley cream. Both things I had used up the last of, so I was just replacing what I had. <laughs> we have four Cabot whip whipping creams here. Yeah, that's a lot. We like it with the milk, uh, hot chocolate. And we have almond milk. Ensure plant-based protein shake. My husband likes these. We use them for a snack for him and it's easy. Now this ghee-free puff pastry is great. It, it's great for making a quiche or sometimes I do like a strudel, strata, whatever they call it. It's really, really good. Great to have in the freezer. Then I also was just replacing some of the frozen vegetables I didn't have because I had used them up the last week. So I got peas, peas and carrots and California style mixed vegetables. Okay, now we're onto the junk food. <laughs> My daughter wanted the gushers, and that's all I'm saying about those. The Orgain Organic Nutrition Shake was, in case I couldn't get the Insure one, my husband will drink it. It's a snack for him. He'll use that. This souffle my daughter loves. It is gluten-free, but it's very pricey. There are only two in there. But it, the ice cream goes well with it. Now, Ben & Jerry's, by the way, this one is Gluten-free, not all their ice creams are gluten-free, but the Caramel Sutra is. I needed to replace my chili powder and my cumin seeds, so I picked those up. And I needed to get extra coffee, so I got the Nature's Promise French Roast. And Pete and Jerry's eggs, we get those. They come in eight packs of 18, and we go through those in about two weeks. The Lundberg rice cakes are great with a little peanut butter for breakfast. Okay, these are mine. These are the wholesome, organic, delish fish <laughs> All right, the Goutard chocolate makes fabulous hot chocolate. Really, really good. Cheetos and Hershey Kisses are for my daughter. 
Now, these Mars bars are mine. I know. They're good, though. They're a nice little snack, and I only got a few. <laughs> Heinz ketchup. No soy soy sauce. Both of these are gluten-free, so we that's what I look for when we're shopping. I ended up with two cans of kidney beans, some cream coconut, uh, coconut stuff, uh, magnesium tablets, wholesome brown sugar, organic California white jasmine rice. It's really good. I needed a full chicken because I wanted to do broth this week. And I got two packages of bacon because I had a couple of dishes I was making with bacon. The ground pork, I'm going to make a pork loaf with apples. It's really good. And ground beef we always need, as well as chicken. I also picked up Joville's diced tomatoes and crushed tomatoes because I use them in dishes and they don't, I can flavor them myself to what I want. We now on to the good stuff. Broccoli and cabbage and peppers and apples. Let's see what else we have here. We have avocados and limes. I had a problem getting limes this time. I don't know why I was having a problem with that. And I picked up a couple of lemons. We needed some cilantro. Last time I bought parsley. When I thought it was cilantro, I couldn't see. Green onions. I always need green onions. I keep them in a, a glass of water, and they keep well in the refrigerator that way. Garlic. Two things of onions because we use a lot of onions and potatoes because we're always going through potatoes. My daughter wanted to try the mouthwash from Tom's. Head and shoulders are a staple in our house. I've been using them for years. My tomatoes, I always get a package of tomatoes and we'll use those up within a week. Quaff tops because I always feel like I need something in my mouth and these elderberry lozenges. I needed some soap, napkins because I was out of them. And the seventh generation um, dish soap and fabric softener because they seem to irritate our skin the least. So that's why we get that. Now, when I do my shopping and when I do my meal planning, I tend to try to use the stuff that is has the shortest shelf life first, like the fresh vegetables. I plan out which ones will last longer, like the cabbage will go for the end of the second week, whereas the broccoli has to be used the first week. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, hit the like button. If you like more videos like this, hit subscribe. I'm Murphy's mom, and this is Murphy. Bye for now.